Hey guys, so because I haven't uploaded a video last week because I was sick, today's video is going to be divided into two parts. So um, before I move on to the part of the lashes, telling you about a great, great online store that sells lots of lashes from different brands in really affordable prices with a lot of cool things and trying out three new pairs of lashes of three different new brands I haven't tried before. Um, first, before I move on to that, I wanted to talk about what's on my nails and tell you about a great, great at-home gel manicure. So if you don't want to hear about that and you want to go straight to the lashes, then I will leave an annotation right here for the time to skip to if you want to skip to the lash part. But if you do have a couple more minutes to hear about what's on my nails, which is really gorgeous, I'm going to zoom in and show you, then keep watching from now on. First of all, everything that I'm going to be talking about in this video today is going to be linked down below in the description bar of this video as well as all of the social media links where you can find me at. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. I always post a lot of pictures of looks and different things right there. So um, just to keep you guys updated, even if I'm not filming a video like happened last week, which I'm so sorry about, I will really try it not to happen again, but I was really sick. so. If you do want to stay updated, make sure to follow me on those social media places. I don't have Snapchat though. So a few months ago I've talked about Madame Glam, which is a brand that is mostly known for their nail polishes and their gel nail polishes. I believe they have a few makeup, makeup items as well, but they are mostly known for their gel nail polishes. And I've tried their one-step gel nail polishes, which look like this. And I'm going to link this video down below in the description bar of this video for um, their review and doing a full review on these one-step gel nail polishes which are awesome, absolutely awesome. They make a gel, they just give you a gel-like um, finish and a gel nail polish effect without having to use a base coat and a top coat. So they, you only do one or two coats of these and you put it under a lead lamp and I demo it in that video and then you get a gel effect for that lasts for a weeks, weeks and weeks. I had worn these for two weeks in a row um, without them chipping, only my nail just grew and obviously I had this blank on the base of my nail because my nail grew so um, you could see that and then I had to peel it off. But they reached out to me to try out their gel nail polishes. Not one step gels, but the true gels with the base coat and the top coat. And they look like this. I'm going to show you a close up. So what's cool about these ones is, first of all, I really, really love the packaging. You can see that in the lid, at the top of the cap, you can see the color, the actual color of the nail polishes. So the top and base coat they are clear so obviously the cap will be clear but on the actual colors you can actually see the color of the nail polish on the cap which is really really cool and with most brands you don't actually get the exact same color most brands that do this kind of uh, kind of a sticker thing that has at the bottom or at the top a sticker with the color you don't get always the exact same color on your nails that's on the sticker and sometimes the color is really sheer so you don't get the exact same color but on these you can see that you get the exact same color so it's like they put the actual nail color on the top of this little cap and it's the exact same effect you get on your nails so if you want to know how it will look on your nails just look at the cap this is the exactly the same color so it looks exactly the same as this, this is the shade um, Rock and Roll and I also have the shade Ballerina and I wore it Ballerina for the past two weeks and it hold up just absolutely great and I love it, I absolutely love it. They are not sheer, they go on really opaque so one coat of this color is great for the actual color so it will look like exactly like in the cap. So the way you apply these is first you apply the base coat, then the a coat of the actual nail color, and then a top coat. And you dry them for 30 seconds in between each layer for um, under your lead lamp. And the effect you get is absolutely incredible. I am not a nail artist. I know nothing about painting on nails or something like that. Um, I haven't learned this or anything like that. So if I can get this perfect manicure, then I believe anybody can. I mean, this is, it just looks 
so professionally made it looks so great and lasts for two weeks in a row and if I wanted to wear this ballerina shade for more I believe truly believe that it would last for a lot more for a month but um, just again my nails grow really fast so I have this little portion at the base of my nail of the nail that grew so I wanted to change the color also I wanted to try the rock and roll shade really so I had to change it so I have to be honest the first one I tried off the ballerina shade this was the first shade that I tried off the actual gel nail polishes um, after I applied the top coat it was pretty sticky so I couldn't understand what was it and it was just really really sticky and I waited for about an hour it was still sticky and then I put it under the lead lamp for another 30 seconds it was still sticky so I thought I must doing something wrong I emailed the girl that contacted me from their um, website uh, her name is Mirella hi Mirella if you're watching this She's really really nice and she sent me the directions of how to use it and in the directions it says that you need to dry each in between each coat for 30 seconds under the lead lamp which I did but at the end it says that you need to wipe off the sticky overlay with rubbing alcohol and I was like oh so it was normal for the sticky base to be on top you know I'm not a professional about nails so I didn't know that and then this time when I did it um, by the way with the ballerina coat I just went to sleep and when I woke up the next morning it was totally fine and looked great anyway but um, with the rock and roll shade which I applied yesterday I actually um, did rub off the sticky base with alcohol and it went on just great I was wondering whether it will remove the shiny coat and the shiny effect of the top coat and it actually didn't it looks just great it looks really shiny and really good and it just removed the sticky base so bottom line I really really love them um, they last for such a long time I can do anything with my hands and wash dishes and do stuff and just forget about my nails for two weeks and I know they will look just great so a huge shout out to Madame Glam, a link and a 30% off coupon code is going to be down below in the description bar of this video thank you so much to Madame Glam for sending me these to try out and to share with my followers thank you for the 30% off coupon code you guys can enjoy it if you want then um, again the link is going to be down below so moving on to the lashes I've always wanted to find an online store with um, different lash brands, with full lash brands, that ships worldwide. I really wanted to try and find a place online that I can find a lot of affordable lashes of different brands, all at one place that ships internationally with a lot of different lash styles that's all in one place that I can really choose from and it was so hard for me to find it I just can't even tell you how hard it was of course you can always go to eBay or Amazon and find um, lashes but I really wanted something that is trustworthy like a really good brand with lashes that it's not in a ridiculously high price you know with a very great um, range of lashes and a great variety of lashes to choose from so I finally found it. I can't even tell you how hard it was to find it. I've done my research and I've searched online and even on YouTube for um, cheap affordable lashes that ship internationally or online store with a lot of different lash brands that ship worldwide. It was so hard to find but when I finally found it, it's like the best thing that ever happened to me lash wise, both lash wise then I really wanted to share it with you guys and I really wanted to tell you guys about it because um, if one of you is looking for something like this and can't find it I wanted to give you the option to find it easier than what took me to find so I hope it will be helpful so this online shop is called Madame Maidline or Madame Madeline I'm not sure how to pronounce it I'm going to link it down below so it's madamemadeline.com so they have such a great great and big range of false lash brands and false eyelash um, styles of different brands I think they have most of the Ardell um, eyelash styles and a lot of different eyelash brands that I've never heard of before so it was such a great place to explore I've placed a huge order of a lot of Ardell lashes from them and I just found out that not only they have such a great lash variety they ship all worldwide the um, prices are really affordable 
then when I got my um, lashes, the customer service was so great, the packaging arrived fairly quickly and also they sent me a lot of, uh, when I got the packaging, I also got a lot of cards with different coupon codes for my next purchase. So that was so great. The customer service was great because I really wanted the Ardell uh, Wispies, which I've never had before. And it's really hard to find Ardell Wispies for some reason, I guess, because they're the most, the most popular ones. Um, and when I reached out to customer service asking if they have them, because um, it says that it's out of stock on their website as well as of most other places, then they um, directed me to Ardell. Let me. This is my lash drawer. So they sent me the link to the Wispies. Um, the like effect Wispies or something like that. I don't know. But they directed me to this style of Ardell Wispies and they said that the only difference is that um, this style comes sometimes with longer lashes and sometimes with shorter ones. And uh, if I and I said that I really want the short ones because this looks like the really long version of them. And they said that they can just uh, type in a note for my order that I'm looking for shorter lashes. And they actually sent me a shorter pair of the wispies, which look exactly like the regular wispies by Ardell. So um, I was so happy about that. And I was so happy with the customer service and the range and the prices and everything that I had to tell you guys about this. So after I placed that huge order with my own money, they actually were kind enough as to send me three pairs of other brands that I've never tried before for me to try out. So I've chosen the pairs, but um, they told me what... I mean, I've chosen the styles of the three companies that they told me to choose from. So the three pairs I have are the Model Rock, Signature lashes in the style Goddess. I'm going to show you a close-up. Then I have the Vegas Nail lashes in the style Easy Elegance. And lastly, I have the Bullseye lashes in the style Haley. So these are the three pairs that I've chosen from these brands. And I have to be honest, I did try them on all of them because I just couldn't wait. I was so excited about them and they all look so great. And I absolutely love all of them, but I really wanted to try them on on camera with you guys. First, because I always wanted to do a video to show you how I apply lashes the easy way. I think this is the easiest way to apply lashes, so I really wanted to share that. I'm going to show that to you in a minute. And also I wanted to try those three styles in case um, any of you wanted to try out one of these brands and just want to see how they look like on. Because I know for myself that if I buy anything from a company that I've never tried before, I always like to search online to see how it looks like on other people before I actually buy it. So I wanted to show you how they look like on, show you how I apply false lashes the easy way. So if you want to see how to do this and how these styles look on, then just keep on watching. So the first lash style that I'm going to be trying out is the Vegas Nay lashes in the style um, Easy Elegance. They look like this. And I chose this style because it really reminds me of the Ardell Wispies, which are uh, a pair that I really like. This is the Ardell Wispies and these are the Vegas Nay. So you can see it's really similar, but the Vegas Nay look a lot more uh, kind of gentle, a little more, a little bit more natural looking, and I really like the bend. It looks really, really thin, which I like. So let's try these on. I'm going to show you how I apply false lashes the easy way after um, I've tried many, multiple different ways to apply lashes. This is the way that I really like to do it that comes out always perfect and really easy. So uh, first of all, this is not the full lash. I actually cut off a little bit of the outer corner. And this is something that I really like about lashes because a lot of people have different, um, I mean, all people have different eye shapes. So if you have a really large eye, then um, these are going to be perfect for you because they are really longer. And um, it's always easy to just cut off a uh, piece of them to match your eye shape. And um, always when you cut eyelashes, make sure to cut them from the outer corner because if you do it from the inner corner, it looks like it starts really long 
on the inner corner and it just looks unnatural and it looks like it starts from out of nowhere just long lashes looks kind of weird and not cute so make sure to always cut the excess of the outer corner of the lashes so this is the first thing so I'm going to use the duo adhesive to apply my lashes but you can use any other lash glue that you like so I know a lot of glues have this little applicator that you can actually brush on the band uh, but if you have a glue like this all you have to do is just squish it so you can have a little bubble come out like this I don't know if you can see that and then when you have this little bubble then just hold it and then brush it on top just uh, Hold the lash upside down and brush a little bit of the product onto the band. Make sure you use a really small amount. I was probably like doing this, right? <laughs> so make sure you apply a small amount, not too much, because this will help it to apply easier to dry faster and to look more natural so you don't have a lot of glue going on so after we have that just dry it out and by the way I do have a video that shows how to get the most uses out of your lashes and how to care for them so I'm going to link it down below as well if you want to check this out and I get at least 20 uses um, not exaggerating from each of my false lash pairs so make sure to check that out if you want to save your lashes for a long time. I'm going to show you how I apply the lashes only on the first pair, of course. I'm not going to do the same with the other two pairs. Um, the other, for the other two pairs, I'm just going to show you the final results, how it looks like on, so you can get an idea. But with these, I'm just going to show you how I actually apply them. So you want to wait for about 30 seconds for it to dry, so you can still see it, but it gets a little bit more clear and looks like you have less glue on. And then what I like to do is to take with my fingers, you want to sweep it upside down like that, and you want to look straight down to the mirror that's in front of you and place the lash from above. Make sure that you see exactly where you want to place it, so the outer and inner corner. And then first place it from above on the center so you first place the center then you want to take with your fingers and apply the outer corner and lastly the inner corner for the inner corner I like to take tweezers to apply it but please don't do this if you are afraid to do this if you have a lash applicator that's a lot safer to use but I'm just using tweezers please if you do this do this at your own risk do not poke your eye try to not poke your eye it's really dangerous to use tweezers that close to your eye but with the tweezers it allows me to be a little bit more precise on this inner corner and I apply it to the inner corner and then with my finger I just press it on from the inner to outer corner like that and then I like to kind of combine them with my natural lashes by kind of squeezing them together and that's actually it so that way you make sure that the lash is really, really close to your natural lash line and that way they merge with your natural lashes a lot better and look a lot more natural. So you can always conceal any glue residue that didn't dry out clear and left white with a black eyeshadow or eyeliner or uh, whatever. But I'm just not going to do that for the sake of the video because I'm going to try out two other pairs of lashes anyway in a second. So don't mind the glue, but this is how the lash looks like on. You can see the differences. This lash, um, this eye is without false lashes, um, just my natural lashes, and this eye is with the Baby Snay uh, false lashes in the style Easy Elegance. I am in love with this style. I have to be honest, when I got these three pairs, I at first, for some reason, just by looking at it, I thought that this style is going to be my least favorite one, and it ended up being the most favorite one out of the three because it looks just so natural. I don't know if you can see it. From this side, it looks like you have just longer, really thin lashes on the outer corners, especially it's kind of wispy on the outer corners, but then, uh, here you can see it right there when I look up, but then it's not obvious, it's not too noticeable, it's not too heavy, it just makes the lashes look a lot thicker on the outer corner and more wispy and long on the outer corners, 
and especially on this little tips of the lashes it's just they are really thin and really natural and if you place them correctly as I showed you really close to your natural lash line it's it doesn't even obvious that you wear false lashes it doesn't look like you're wearing false lashes it just looks like your natural lashes are really long and pretty so I really really love this style so next I'm going to try out the bullseye false lashes in the style Haley. I really really love the packaging for this one most of the lashes come in this clear container where you can see the both lashes like an elongated container or something like this where you can see only one lash and then here's the branding but something like this that is kind of uh, rounded and I really like the whole like eyeball idea so it's so cute and they also have I saw on the website this is the refillable one they also have like a packaging like that that is rounded plastic for uh, just refilling lashes so something that is not cardboard so it's so cute on the inside the packaging looks like this really love the packaging and this is the style Haley so this is also a really wispy lash but on this it looks like it's really thick at the bottom like on the base of the lash and then it has some individual ones going a little bit further out that are longer so I don't know if you can see that so it's really thick on the bottom and then right here it has kind of a little wispies going out so let's try this one on so this is how they look like on and oh my gosh you guys I really really love this style they are not as lightweight um, and as understated as the Vegas Nay ones but they definitely are not too bold I guess that you found out till this moment already what style of lashes what lash style I like I don't like them to be too bold too dramatic and too obvious that you wear false lashes and this one is so so pretty I don't know how we uh, let me try and zoom in a little bit more so again don't pay attention to the glue residue you can always uh, remove that but this is how they look like they have this little longer um, hairs at the tips and they're a little bit thicker at the base and on the outer corners I absolutely love how it looks like they are so wispy and so gentle but still they have a pretty nice statement this is something I would wear for um, probably a night out if I don't want to look too bold or too obvious that I'm wearing false lashes but still give a little bit of a something I'm definitely going to try out some more bullseye false lashes what do you think? I get it that some of you that might like a little bit more bold, overstated, glamorous lashes might not like the styles that I've chosen, but this is these are the styles that I like for my liking for more natural looking lashes. But um, make sure to check the website. Oh my god, how many messages? But make sure to check out the Madame Maidline or Madeline. Uh, website down below for more styles because they have a lot of different styles these are just styles that I chose for my liking because I like more of natural looking lashes that don't look too bold but these brands have a lot of different styles to choose from and a lot of bold lashes too especially this brand the model rock brand this is I think the most natural looking style that I can find so you can have an idea of styles that they have they have a lot more bold looking lashes so just make sure to check out that website they have a lot of different styles I think they have everything for um, they have something for anybody so oh I forgot to mention that the Vegas nail lashes came with a little adhesive as well so this is the next style that we're going to try out the model rock, model rock signature lashes in the style goddess this is how they look like these are really wispy and they have little parts that are thicker and then thinner and thicker and then thinner this is how they look like these are a lot shorter than the other two um, styles not shorter in terms of the um, actual lashes but the band the band itself is pretty small you can see that they don't go all the way in so that's a bummer but they look really pretty so let's try them on I put these in like a second one of the most important tips for easy application of lashes, easy and fast application, is really waiting for the glue to get tacky for uh, about 30 seconds because when it's tacky it just um, 
sticks right on and it doesn't move around or anything like that. So just put the center, the outer half, and then the, the inner half. Oh my god! So just put the center, the outer half, and then the inner half, and it just pops on really, really easily. So this style is definitely one of the more bold ones. The camera does no justice. It looks just so bold in the mirror in front of me. It's so long, it actually touches my eyebrow. I don't know if you can see when I'm opening my eye, it just touches, so it's really, really long. Um, too long for my liking, I don't really like these long lashes. You can see that it's really thick at the base, again, kind of like the bullseye ones, but this is a lot thicker and a lot more bold, and I don't really like that the inner corner is really, really long because then it looks like I just trimmed the outer half, you know? Just as I was saying when I told you not to trim the inner half because it starts really long, it looks kind of weird. It just starts long and goes long again. And um, But I really like the base of it. So I might, for my uh, pair, what I like, what I might do is just take little scissors and just kind of trim certain lashes from the tips just to make it a little bit shorter so it won't be that long on the actual you know the tips of it right here because I do like the outer corner and I like the fullness of it but I might trim just from the inner corner and just from the edges but yeah this is how they look like on so Meta Made Line or Meta Line was kind enough as to give you guys a 11% coupon code which is going to be linked down below in the description bar um, this is not an affiliate code, again, I don't get anything from it, they just were really kind enough us to give you 11% off of your um, entire purchase if you decide to buy from them. I really, really recommend them. The prices, the range of the products, the customer service, the shipping, everything is just 100% recommended by me, so if you want to check it out, a link is going to be down below in the description bar of this video, as well as links to all the social media websites where you can find me at. Make sure to follow me again on Instagram and Facebook if you Facebook, Facebook, if you haven't already, and make sure to give this video a thumbs up on the way out. It would really help, and of course, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm going to talk to you all next Saturday. Bye.